Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm so glad to have you here. I appreciate you guys for choosing me over and over again. I really do appreciate it and I would love for you to subscribe and hit the notification bell and also don't forget to like the video because that helps me so so much. But today we are talking to the book lovers. Hi! Hi! Hiya! How's the reading going? Are you guys having a good time with the reading? I just smashed my reading goal for the year, like two weeks ago, and I am just... Whoo, I haven't picked up a book since then, but you know what? We're going to get into it. So this is a great video because I'm going to be talking to you guys about books that are like... They're going to be a favorite. You're not going to be able to put them down. And if you're going through a reading slump, these are the books that you should pick up. These books are so good. They're either entertaining or they're suspenseful or they make you think quite a bit. They tackle difficult subjects, some of them. But these are books that will make sure that you pick up another book immediately when you finish. So these are some of my favorites. I've spoken about them on this channel before. Um, if you follow me, you'll know about some of these books. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, I appreciate you guys so much. I do, I do, I do. But let's get into this video. Let's share this books this books it's the english for me all right anyway let's get into the video let's talk about these books so in no order of importance these are going to be the books that i highly recommend that you pick up because these books are not only going to make you think but these books are going to have you having a great time while you're reading them the first one is luster this is by raven Lelani, and it's one of my favorite books some of my favorite books. I really love this book. This follows the story of a girl named Edie. And Edie is growing up in New York. Well, she's in New York. She's in her early 20s. She lives in this rundown apartment with a roommate. And her life is just bleh. Okay? She's going through her life. She's just really... My goodness, she's really going through it, okay? She lives a very provocative lifestyle. She's just doing whatever she wants with whomever she wants. She has relationships with colleagues and she doesn't care whether they know about it or they don't know about it. And then the story takes a little bit of a turn where Edie is introduced to a guy by the name of Eric. And Eric is a white suburban man who's got a family, he's married and he's got a child an adopted child who happens to be black and he is introduced to Edie and they have this really toxic relationship. Literally, Eric is in an open marriage with his wife, right? So they are living this lifestyle, okay? Where they're just like, you know what? It's fine. You do your thing. I'm gonna do my thing. It's fine. I don't care. It's fine. I don't care. I don't care. But this one gets a little bit tricky because Edie ends up living with Eric and his wife and the wife knows about it right? The wife knows about it. So for me, this was a great book because I've never read anything like this. But not only that, it's a debut novel from Raven Leilani and it's written impeccably. And I'm someone who is very particular about the books that I read. I want to read books that are good, that are well written, not just a standard book that can be written by someone in high school. I want to read something that's really going to pull at me, right? That's going to tug at me, that's going to make me think, right? And one of the big things that this book made me think about is just the storyline in and of itself. I mean, a girl who dates a married man and ends up living with him and his wife for like two, three weeks. And that dynamic, you know, what happens in the house. And Edie also creating a relationship with their daughter, with their black daughter, because they understand each other. They're black. So there's hair issues. There's, um, you know, bullying issues from at school because the friends know that she's, she's the daughter of a white family and all of that. It's, it's a thinker. Okay, it's one of those books where you will think about it. Whether you like it or not, you're going to think about it. And I love it. It's so well written. I highly recommend that you pick up this book. Highly. Highly. The next book is Ties That Tether. And this is by Jane Igaro. She's got a new novel out called The Sweetest Remedy, I believe. I'm not quite sure. But this one I read maybe about two years ago now. So I'm not quite particular with... Um, 
the storyline but all i do know is that uh we follow azere who is an ad exec and she's living a great life she's just you know she also lives in new york if i'm not mistaken she's she's based in new york and um you know she's dating her mother is on her case about when are you gonna get married she's in her mid-20s the mother's just like but i need you to get married you know how black parents are okay and she's nigerian okay so the mother's like when are you gonna get married mother sets her up things don't work out she's always going on dates things don't work out book opens after she's gone on this date that was a complete fail complete tank and she sits in this hotel lobby and she's having a drink and thinking about her life and this date and how things are just not going her way right now in her romantic life and then she meets a guy by the name of Raphael Castello no Castellano Castellano an Italian guy and they sit there and they have a drink and they chat and they end up doing some things okay only to find that Mr. Raphael Castellino or Castellano okay is a senior at her workplace he's a new guy okay so she develops this relationship with him she loves him oh my god they love each other oh my god the relationship is hot it's steamy this is a romance okay so the relationship is hot it's steamy it's written so well i love it it's written so well but now the problem is the dynamic with the parents now she's sitting here thinking how am i going to tell my mama how am i going to tell my mama about this guy he's white and he's italian what am i going to do and it's so good it's so good it's so entertaining it's funny the rapport that uh rafael and azere have with each other is great and i love to see that in romance novels i like to see them interact but not make it too insta lovey not make it too like oh, come on really that's that's not real come on now come on now so um this one is really really good the cover is absolutely insane we absolutely love it we love it um so pick it up pick it up this is definitely a book that's going to make you want to pick up another book immediately once you finish reading it i loved it i loved it this is one of my all-time favorites this book will be a book that'll go down in history for me as oh my gosh everything this is one of my favorite authors this book is written by one of my favorite authors and this is everything i never told you by celeste ng cover again beautiful we love it everything now this follows a chinese american family with a chinese father and an american blonde blue-eyed mom and they have three kids and the book opens with lydia is dead one of the kids the eldest who i think is maybe 17 dead and it's the first line of the book i'm pretty sure it's the first line lydia is dead but they don't know this yet so we follow what I love about this book is that we follow the, the, the dynamic of the family. We follow um, difficult topics where, you know, how the Chinese are treated in the States at the time and how the, the it's, it's 1977 at this point. And the father is a, is a teacher, I think, or a professor. And um, the mom is a stay-at-home mom. Or maybe she's doing something. I don't, I don't remember. I probably read this like two or three years ago. But we now this book opens it's a mystery of course and this book opens with us knowing that lydia is dead but the family doesn't know yet so we follow the book in different time spans when lydia was alive the interaction between the siblings and the family and you get to see the dynamic of how chinese american kids are you know the best is expected from them and it's really hard and it, it takes its toll on the children and you get to see that and you get to see the relationship that the kids have with each other but also the relationship that the kids have with their parents and it's so well written this is symbolic and 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 lyrical writing at its finest i love celeste ng i literally just got in her new book i was sent her new book <laughs> I just got sent in the new book now um a couple of days ago and I'm so excited to read that but this was one of the books that not only made me cry but it made me think it made me you know it made me just see how families interact with one another and I could relate with so many of the things that they 
the kids were going through as somebody who is in a family of overachievers, right? So, so, so we went through these things, my sister and I, growing up. So it was so good, but it's so well written. It, you will not put the book down. Just trust me, you will not put it down. Um, it's written powerfully and I annotated it as well. This is one book that I could read over and over again. Um, but yeah, it's a sad book. It's definitely a sad book, but it's a great one. Well written. If you're in your sad girl era, you know, if you're in your sad girl moments, vibes, whatever, and you want to read something sad, highly recommend that you pick up that book. And I then maybe you want to read something mystery suspenseful. You know, you want to read a thriller, especially now. I'm recording this in October, uh, but by the time you see it, it'll probably be in November because it's November next week. The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Now, I have read The Guest List. I believe there's also The Hunger Party, which I did not read. And there's The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. But this one, so good. You won't put it down. I read this book in two days. Two days? Like I started it today and I finished it tomorrow. Basically that kind of thing. And this is a book where you follow different point of views, right? So they are, there's this group, it's a wedding party that goes to this remote island in Scotland, off, off Scotland somewhere. And they go to this remote island and the wedding is happening there that weekend, right? That weekend. But the weather is kind of crazy. So when they get there, the weather just gets worse. So they, they can't leave the island. They're stuck there for as long as until the weather lets up, right? So that's fine because they're there for the wedding. Who cares, right? Who cares? But the thing is, the people, the point of views that you get in this <laughs> book, you get the point of view from the bride, the groom, the, some of the wedding party, so the, the groomsman and uh, the bridesmaid, who happens to be the sister to the bride, you get a point of view from the owner of the place where they're going, who's, you know, also the wedding planner and all of that. And it's kind of crazy. So it opens with, on the wedding night, somebody's dead. One person in this party of people that are on this island is dead. We don't know who they are. No, we've got no idea who they are, but at this point we're just like, but I want to know what's going on. Then you start reading from different point of views and you realize that, man, none of these people are nice. These are such unlikable characters, but you just keep going because you want to see. Now you're trying to plan it out in your mind that, ooh, yeah, this one's got a problem. It could definitely be this, this guy or this girl who's, who's dead. And this guy could have done it. It's so intense. It's so intense. It's good. It's fast paced. It's easy, very easy to read. Um, nothing that would complicate things and be like, what? What are they saying? What? What? No. It's so easy to read. It's great. And it's just a thrilling time. It's an entertaining book. Um, definitely a book that will make you one, like thrillers. Very basic for a thriller novel, I won't even lie. Thrillers get a lot darker than this. However, this is nice. It's entertaining. You want to read it and get it over and done with and keep it moving with your life. I really think you'll enjoy it and you'll definitely want to pick up a thriller or another book after this. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. Guarantee Another good thriller that is 10 times better than this one is this. This is The Burning Girls by... Um, CJ Tudor, <laughs> A Burning Girls by CJ Tudor, and this was fantastic. I could not put it down. I enjoyed it so, so much. I actually started picking up books by CJ Tudor because I want to read more of her books, okay? So in this one, we follow uh, Reverend Jack Brooks. Reverend Jack Brooks is actually a female, short for Jacqueline. Okay. And she, the book opens with her and her teenage daughter, Flo, moving to a smaller town. So they were staying in um, a bigger town somewhere in England, okay? But then they, she gets a new job, she gets a new posting to be the pastor of a smaller town. So she moves there with her daughter. But this town has secrets. Something shady is happening in this town, okay? So... There's a lot of, 
there's there's a story about surrounding the town about what happened 500 years ago what happened 30 years ago and what happened two months ago okay so she goes to this town to take up this new posting because the vicar of that town has died mysteriously no one understands but when she gets there strange things start happening to her and her daughter the people of the town are funky okay the people of the town are weird um and she starts getting these little toy voodoo like dolls being placed outside her door right and it's just the suspense in this is wild the thrill in it is wild this is definitely a lot darker than the guest list very much so and if you're somebody who likes dark novels like thrillers bordering on horrors i definitely highly recommend this there is a lot of religious patriarchy in it so if you're maybe not a fan of reading anything that's overly religious then maybe don't pick it up but it's great it's entertaining it's a good time i give it a five out of five i loved it i read it like and it's just it's a floppy baby how you're not gonna love it you know this is the burning girls by cj tudor i highly recommend that you pick it up get it right. we're counting down to the final three this i read recently now if you're somebody who you're new to reading you don't want to find yourself sitting down and reading a full novel and uh, you just don't have time i highly recommend that you maybe try anthologies anthologies are really good like love and color by bolu bobolola and then there's this one by disha pilal this is the secret life of church ladies that cover is insane it's beautiful i love it this is brilliantly written you follow the lives of nine women okay in nine different i think it's nine i think it's nine short stories one two yep 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 nine short stories and you follow their lives as being black church ladies but their lives outside of the church right the secrets that they keep the sordid relationships that they have whether in and out of their marriages um the sexual orientation that they have but cannot disclose in the church and all of that so you follow their sordid lifestyles outside of the church right the things that they think their sexuality um falling in love with somebody of the same sex but these are things that cannot be communicated in the church because no 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 ma'am no ma'am um i loved it i loved it it was tabbed by um roxanne gay and i love roxanne gay and she said it was beautifully crafted and candace carty williams who wrote queenie also said left me wanting more and honestly left me wanting more so if you're new to reading and you want to read something but you're like oh i don't want to find myself sitting down and reading you know 50 pages of one chapter read a story at a time one story put it down next story put it down but this you'll probably read three stories in one go because it is so good it's so good definitely pick it up i loved it it was so great so great so there's no way this book this video would continue in life without me talking about well if you know the story about the cover on this book you know the story but i would never 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 finish off a video without talking about this book i've spoken about it so many times this is the polygamist by sunyati and i highly recommend either the polygamist or even a family affair but a family affair is a 400 pager book hence why i'm just like mm, if you're new to reading maybe that's not the best book to pick up because you'll feel like it'll drag and blah blah but it's a brilliantly written book it's such a great book uh sumiati is one of my favorite authors as well african authors this is a polygamist and in this book we follow jonasi a rich finance tycoon okay a billionaire okay and his four wives so we've got wife one two three four okay some of them know about each other some of them don't know about each other so we follow their lives now this is it's it's hard okay one of them is a slave queen and then you have the first wife who's great and then you have the one who he grew up with like that back in the day you know that you know you're right or die you know what i'm saying uh jonasi is very much unlikable he's not the character that you will like whether polygamist or not you just won't like him uh there's very difficult topics here of assault in the 
sex manner and there's also difficult topics of uh, rape there's difficult topics there's just really hard topics in this book so maybe if you're going to be triggered by that maybe don't pick it up but the book in and of itself is entertaining my goodness and it's short it's like 190 pages it's short you can literally knock it out in a day you start reading it in the morning and it's so good that you're going to want to continue to read it throughout the day trust me trust me tapanna tapanna so it's really good i absolutely loved it i enjoyed it so so much and i highly recommend this sunyati and i think this was her debut novel yes it is um and this is her debut novel so good so good if you know me and you know the books that i love on this channel this is not going to surprise you at all at all this is not going to surprise you this is the masterpiece that is the death of vivek og by akweke imezi now akweke imezi they did a fantastic job writing this book i have read a number of their novels i recently finished you made a fool of death with your beauty beautiful title i've got opinions on that book however this masterpiece wonderfully crafted masterfully written it is so good lyrical symbolic so we follow the life of vivek og in this book but the book opens with vivek og his lifeless body i i say his lifeless body but i'm not saying it right but it'll be a spoiler if I say it the right way, right? His lifeless body is found outside his mother's doorstep. The mother doesn't know what happened. She opens the door to find her son's lifeless body there. She doesn't know what happened. She doesn't know who left him there. She knows nothing. So the book goes into back before in a different time span. So you've got dual time span of now, currently, and before. And you start to follow the journey of Vivek Oji and the journey that he goes through in terms of finding himself. It's a story of becoming. It's a story of, you know, finding your true identity, your 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 journey in life, living your life, your sexuality out loud and boldly. It is beautiful. It is so good and it's short. This is also another one you can knock out in a day. It's literally 240 pages. You can knock it out in a day. But it's so good that you will not put it down. It is so good that it will make you cry. Honestly, I cry at everything. Okay? I cry at everything. But this put the, 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 the beauty of, of tears and all of that in me. And I absolutely loved it. I highly, highly recommend all of these books. This is the last book. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoyed my synopsis of the video of the books. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoyed my synopsis of the books. I try to keep it as you know, just vague as possible, but giving you a little bit of detail so that you may be able to tell, is this something I could be into? Is it something that I could not be into? You'll love them. You will absolutely love them. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe you want to read in 2023. Maybe one of your goals is I want to read in 2023. I want to read more. I highly suggest you pick up these books. Okay. I just picked, I've got so many more that I love, but these are the ones that stand out every single time I look at my bookshelves. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I love to have you here. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Gatleo and this is my channel. This is our space. This is home. I've also got a membership space where I drop videos every other week. But in Vlogtober, I didn't check because I was dropping videos on my main space. Four videos, I just couldn't, but coming back to it in November. So I hope you are having a great day or evening wherever in the world you are. And thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you for choosing me over and over again. I'll see you in the next video.